Good morning, everybody. It is a Savage Stacker. All right. It, isn't it kind of funny that it takes outside sources to tell us things that um, kind of teach us who we are, or what's been going on? And uh, you know, recently I've been getting a lot of new people, new stackers to the community. Um, to this channel, a lot of that traffic, and I love that sound. It took a few people over the last weekend and this week as well. Somebody yesterday as well um, told me, "Hey, you've been you have like a gift for bringing in new stackers. A lot of new people that are just getting into stacking show up on your channel." And somebody also had told me that. Um, over the weekend, and uh, and I'm like, you know what? You're right. There's it's there's a lot of new stackers coming in on my channel, and for one thing, I I am just like anybody else. I, I stack hard. I, I make pretty good money now. I'm not great, but pretty good. Um, and I'm very motivated, and uh, but I'm just like anybody else. I uh, I work. <laughs> I save. I stack and uh, kind of like a Hail Mary and hope for the best that I'm doing the right thing with the family and keeping myself out of debt and all those things. And I'm just like anybody else. I'm not some super stacker, super YouTuber guy, right? And I think that the best thing we can do on a, on a, on a, uh, platform like this is teach others that are just starting that's what's happened with myself and um, I started watching a couple of the bigger channels now but uh, they're huge now but um, and I learned pretty much everything I needed to know about stacking within like five videos everything else has been pretty much just entertainment and I have some bullet points here and we're going to go over a few things that uh, I think that are important but you could learn about stacking all in a few videos and I think it's important that we keep that in perspective because um, it's not rocket science stacking is very simple and what I've noticed is a lot of people buy out of FOMO fear of missing out and that is not the correct way to Wish I had two more of those. That's not the correct way to uh, stack silver because this is not a get rich scheme. This isn't buy this, it's going up tomorrow and sell it and make all this money, right? This is a way to get your money out of the banks and hold on, be your own bank. Hold on to something that's tangible that is and always has been real money. The dollar is getting weaker and metals will get stronger. Even though they're acting funny right now, they will get stronger. So with that being said, the reason why I stack precious metals, to be honest with everybody, is it stops me from spending my money on senseless things, okay? which is very easy to do. I started making some decent money. Like I said, not great. There's other stackers on here that stack harder than I do. I don't know if they're as motivated as I am, but they, they, they have a lot more money than I do. I don't have, <laughs> believe me, <laughs> I have to think about every one of these purchases. I'm like, oh, can I do it this month? Can I not do it this month? And, um, you know, so, Lately, I've been telling people it is the best time to buy precious metals, silver, gold, platinum, and that's because over the last few years, we have been buying precious metals at a very expensive price point. We're talking 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35 40 $45 an ounce. People that are buying collector stuff, right? They're paying those high prices for that silver. 
there is silver. A couple bars that I bought just because they were cool. I couldn't find any silver. The silver was like gone. And I paid $35 an ounce. And I sold those recently for $22 an ounce. So yes, you can get caught with your pants down, but there is a silver lining, no pun intended. Oh, maybe there is. Um, silver and gold have pulled back. And they have pulled back in a major, major way. And now is the best time to be able to buy more. And I'm not saying people should go out and buy, spend all their money on silver and gold. It's not a get rich quick scheme. This is a long term hold. So if you can't spend time on just holding this stuff in a box somewhere, if you can't not go without this money for five, 10 years, then you probably shouldn't be stacking because you may lose your premiums. You may might lose those premiums. And there has been dozens of times I've gone to my local coin shop and say in 2019, 2020, 2021, I go in there and he only buys stuff from walk-in people, right? There's been times where I've gone in there and I'm like, hey, you got any buffaloes? He's like, yeah, I got uh, somebody just brought these two 2021 buffaloes. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. They just came out like a month and a half ago. That means somebody had already bought, purchased buffaloes and turned around and had to go sell them to the local coin shop. That means they lost $200 on those two buffaloes that fast. And I'm like, why would people, and I ask him, I'm like, why would people just buy this, turn around a couple you know, weeks later and, and sell it. He's like, I, he's all, it doesn't make any sense to me. He's all, but it happens every day. People bring in stuff from that same year that just came out, right? Buffaloes usually come out around March sometimes. And, um, I think 2021, the Buffaloes came out in March and I went in there and bought two Buffaloes, both 2021 gold Buffaloes. And, uh, when was it? January, February, March, April, May. It might have been June. It might have been May. It might have been May or, May or June. And I'm like, wow, somebody bought two buffaloes and already had to sell them. If you can't go without just stashing this, squirreling this money away for a while, then don't start stacking it. You know, just buy a little small bit at a time. Now, the couple reasons why I started stacking is one is I had a little bit of money, um, the most amount of money I've ever had uh, at one time, and I I started nickeling diamond it away, spending five hundred here, three hundred there, and I got and I just I just wanted that money for a down payment on a house. That's all I wanted it for. And I got lucky I had it, and um, so I went and bought gold. And I knew if I bought gold, that I knew that I would, I would, it would be such a process that I just wouldn't nickel and dime the money away. So that's what I did. I went and bought a couple ounces, a couple uh, eagles, and um, I put them away. I still have those eagles to this day. That was beginning of 2019. And uh, I realized right then that I can save money doing this. I started watching YouTube videos. I was new. I was starting to stack. Uh, and then I started finding silver. And I'm like, dude, I could. this is like the change. If I only got this much this month, I could buy one of these. If I only got, you know, if I got more, I could buy, you know, ounces, whatever. And uh, so I put the rest of that money into silver right after I bought those two ounces. I went back to the to the local coin shop that day and went and bought the rest of the money in silver. And he went, whoa. He's like, you're going a little crazy there, huh? And I said, yeah, I got this money. I don't want to spend it. And he's like, well, there's nothing better than gold and silver to help you save your money. And then I started watching YouTube videos just to check and make sure that I had legit stuff, right? Make sure I wasn't getting burned. And um, and lo and behold, uh, everything I had was, was nice and, and, and it was legit. And I learned how to test it and I learned how to um, stack it and save it and and. The University of YouTube taught me what I needed to know as far as stacking and saving and, and testing silver and gold and and um, 
And then I started getting into the political part of it. And then I started getting into the inflation part of it and, and the strategies and all this different stuff. And it, I swear, I was a pro within like a month. Like I all of a sudden was a silver and gold stacking pro, right? So one thing you do have to watch out for out there is uh, a lot of content creators, myself included, are just searching for topics. Sometimes we use other people's stuff when we see somebody that's doing well on their channel, and it happens to me a lot. Big channels do it to me a lot. I don't know why, but I'll put a title out there, and two days later, somebody will have a title just like mine out there. Um, and uh, I've done it. You know, I've done it. It's It happens. Sometimes it happens on accident. You don't realize it. You're like, oh, that's a good topic, and you start talking about it. But So if you just cut through all the hype, you know, you can usually learn everything you need to know about silver stacking in a few videos and which is you know yeah that's it's it's uh it's good for the learning aspect of it for knowledge but we get addicted to drama we get addicted to if i'm stacking silver i'm saving my life and my family if if I don't stack gold and silver, inflation's happening, the world's ending, right? We get addicted to wanting to watch stuff like that. And that's where the clickbaity, uh, <laughs> the clickbaity uh, videos come in. And um, you got to watch out for some of those channels. There are a couple of them out there. There is one channel out there that's a big channel that was very clickbaity for a long time and then kind of checked himself and is doing really well now. And I actually watch him a little bit. And um, I don't want to name names. I'm not trying to hit on anybody, but he kind of changed up his style, and now he's doing very good. He's got some great content, does a lot of research. And uh, when you stay around the community a little bit, you'll learn who that is. Um, but uh, look at this thing. It's like, a, it's like a weighted blanket. It's amazing. God, I wish I would have got 10 of those. Ooh. Ooh, listen to that, right? All right, so... Basically, what I'm trying to say is you're going to learn all there is to know about stacking and watching, a, a, you know, a week's worth of videos, you know, two or three videos a day. And you're going to learn pretty much everything and you're going to be a pro. But I want to leave you with this. All right. Silver and gold are a long time, long term hold. Do not get discouraged by day to day spot price. It will drive you crazy. Bottom line is. Buy low, sell high. If you are worried that cash is trash and it's not doing what it's supposed to, then just don't sell. If gold goes super low, silver goes super low, you don't lose money until you sell. Okay? Don't worry about it. There are people that come on here and hate on it because they bought high and then they sold low two months later to my local coin shop and I'm buying up their stuff for cheap. Right? These guys, right? Because they didn't realize what this is supposed to be. I don't have any gold out here. God damn. Um, nah, I'll put it in the next video. I'll put some gold out there. I put out a lot of silver out here. But I'm truly more of a gold bug. Um, it's just my gold's hard to get out. I got it all wrapped up real nice into a pouch. And uh, it's, it's like, it's my get the heck out of town quick pouch you know it's easy to grab this is hard to grab first next thing i can tell you is diversify your stack be a stacker not a silver stacker not a gold stacker diversify right one does bad one does good or you can trade on the silver and gold ratio whatever you'll learn about that i'm sure diversify your stack next thing is is i started off doing this to save myself for myself. This is my savings account. This is a way so I wouldn't spend my money. But your reasonings for stacking may change. And you may learn some things. You may learn that the dollar is falling apart and we're headed towards a, a new, um, um, you know, I, I watch this stuff all the time. I don't know why I can't remember it. Um, a monetary reset. You may, that's frustrating. I hate when my alarm goes off and I forget to turn it off and it just turns off my video and ruins my train of thought. All right, you might learn that gold and silver is not holding up its 
end of the bargain during inflation. Well, you can go back, you can do the research, and you can look at what had happened in 2009, 2010, 2011. You can go back and look and see what happened in 78, 79, 80, 81, the times when silver and gold have taken off and been at their highs. And you will see that it normally pulls way back. And I mean way back, just like an ocean right before a tidal wave. Pulls back and then whoosh, climbs over the hump, right? Right now, we have gotten very lucky. Silver and gold were at their top. They were in a spot where it was starting to become untainable. It was getting becoming nonsense. The premiums were high. The price was high. And I was starting to stack it up going, man, if this ever pulls back, we are in deep trouble. <laughs> and I put out a video that was very popular called, Are We Going to Get Caught With Our Pants Down Holding the Bag on $32 an ounce silver? And I got it. Tons of hate on that video. Oh, it's never pulling back. It's going to the moon. You'll never. And I'm like, I don't know, dude. It, it's possible. The economy starts doing good, or we get some good news, or they, they, you know, they raise interest rates or whatever. It, it could just pull way back on us. And I've had to sell low, and I didn't get discouraged. When it pulled back, I kept stacking. And right now, there's no better opportunity right now if you're stacking to just grind this out and keep. I never thought, I did not think we would be able to stack back at $19 an ounce, $20 an ounce. I had, I didn't, I did not think that was going to be possible. And I thought that it could pull back. And I'm like, ooh, I did think that, but I didn't think it would be down long enough to to be able to stack like this, right? And I'm very grateful that we are being, that we're able to uh, have this time to stack more. And uh, yeah, I, I'm very grateful for it. There's a lot of new stackers out there that started in 2020 and uh, 2021, and they were buying silver that was upwards of 26 to $30 an ounce and the premiums, plus the premiums, $35 an ounce. And a lot of them were talking about how they felt they were getting a good deal. Well, now it pulls back and then half of those people are not buying anymore. It pulls back $10 an ounce on silver and like $200 an ounce on gold. And they stop buying. They stop. And I'm like, why? What? Why would you buy at $29 plus a 3 or 4 or $5 premium? And then turn around and sell or just get discouraged or just stop stacking at, at $18 an ounce of silver, right? $16.50, $17.50 on gold. Why would you do that? That just makes no sense. Buy low, sell high. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. This was just, a, I needed to get a little bit of this out. Um, I can't stress it enough. If you're a stacker right now is the time to buy. I'm not giving any financial advice here at all. I'm another, just another dude, just like you, you know, well, dudettes, <laughs> just another, another person, just like you guys that is motivated. And that is, that believes in this because I've never in my life been able to save this much wealth ever, ever. I've never been able to, I could not save more than two thousand dollars to save my life and i'm way beyond that now way way beyond that now in three years and i am grateful finding stacking i am grateful i was able to do this talk to you guys start this channel do all these things and a little side note yes i'm in review for monetization right now and we'll see what happens they, not everybody gets monetized. Sometimes they review your channel and then they go, huh, no way, buddy. But uh, I don't have no community strikes. I do not get political on here. I do talk about world views, but I don't try to get political. I'll save that for another channel. Um, I do support my red, white, and blue and my patriots, though. Um, but, you know, I try not to be political. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if I get monetized. It should take four, five, six, seven, eight days to figure that out. All right. 
Thank you all for coming by. It is the Savage Stacker. Please hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Don't, don't be shy. Boom. Hit that sucker. All right. Thank you. Savage Stacker's over and out.